survive, and, my, and I am the daughter of a, two survivors. My grandfather is a survivor of the Nakba, so is my father. Um, I wrote this poem probably 10 years ago, and it's, it's still a tart. So if you guys don't mind, I'd like to read it. It's called Once a Crown, Now an Old, Now a Soul Dragon. She is an innocent beauty full of green valleys and white birds, fly atop her like angels with wings that soar in the sky. For her, anything was possible, for she held the first religion hand in hand, with smiles, laughter, and peace. She suddenly falls, and her blood spreads, and all her dreams suddenly crush. The once wrecked become the wreckers. Black devils and red horns come thieves at night. Once a crown, now a soul drag. Apartheid walls surround her from all around. Black smoke and red tears, color all green and white. She has been used and sold like a harlot. Against her will, she becomes a scarlet. Yet everyone watches, everyone talks, everyone turns, and then everyone walks. She stands tall, yet she wails. Where is humanity? Where are the pikes? Where are all the greens and whites? Why is everything black and red? Everywhere she looks, her children are dead. Crafting her into a spreading cancer in the mid of sleeping nations who will not awake. Her children perish and are blamed for the sake of their laughter and purity by the lake. But you see, she will never yield. She will scream until all is awake. She will dance again in the field, break her siege and breathe again. She will fight for her valleys and birds and we will bring her peace once again. Oh, Palestine, my motherland, please don't cry. Her, your precious children will never let you.